very good morning guys today we are going to discuss meeting situations meeting oncoming traffic and meeting park car on left hand side or right hand side or both sides sometimes so this is very common uh, situation where mostly drivers they fail so why they fail let me just try to explain you a little bit for example you are coming like this finger is your car for example this is your car and you're coming here as soon as you come here, you realize one car coming other side, better to stop here. When you stop here, you need to stop near this center white line. So never ever try to come behind this car to wait for this car. If you come behind this car, so if there's any car behind you, he will take your place, then you will stuck behind. So better to keep your car near the center white line and stop. Once you stop here, this car go, then you go. As soon as you try to come here, you realize another car coming. When you see another car coming, so both side park cars, you got no room, so better to stop here again near this white line. You can see this car stop near this center white line. Never try to go inside to stop like it's stopping here with the near center white line. If you stop like little bit this side, driver behind will take your place and you will stuck inside, number one. Number two, your view will be restricted. You won't be able to assess better. So better to stay near this white line and leave just room for him. As soon as he come in this gap, he go, you go. Don't try to move from here until he come in this gap. So just wait here. So let this driver go, then you go. Mostly drivers, they fail because they don't stop here. They just keep coming. When they keep coming, oncoming traffic, they already committed few cars. So they have no room. So they stop for you. Then examiner will penalize you for that. So better to stop here about one car before near the center white line. Let this car go, then you go. Okay, another situation can be created here. For example, when you come here and you are already committed here. So one car park here, one car park that side. So another car coming this side. So never ever try to slow down. Keep going with the confidence to make him realize there's no room for you mate. So better to stop. So he will definitely stop there because he is looking. There's no room for him. So you keep coming nicely and bear in mind if he's coming, you have to stop. But most of the time they will definitely stop because they are looking, there's no room for you. So you keep coming. When you keep coming here, obviously stop here, then slow down here because you need to merge in this gap and go slowly, he go, you go. The how you can deal this situation. Where mostly drivers, they fail here as well. When they are coming here, they realize one car coming the other side, then they try to go closer to these park cars. As soon as you try to go a little bit inside, your instructor will grab your steering and you will fail your test. So never ever try to go closer to these park cars. Always keep one meter away from these park cars. Why we keep one meter away from these park cars? Let me just explain you here. For example, this is, your, this is the park car. And this is your car. So one car coming other side, for example, one car coming other side, obviously you need to keep one meter away from this park car. And one meter is about three feet, three inches. So one feet is his side mirror. One feet is your side mirror. So two feet already gone. So rest is only one feet and three inches left. When you're coming here closer to this car, and because of this car, as soon as you try to come inside, it means you are not having any enough room. You may clip his side mirror. So that is why instructor will grab your steering and he will fail you. The best thing is when you're coming here, don't try to go closer to this car. Keep your car meter away and then stop. Best st strategy is stop. Once you stop, obviously this car coming and he will stop as well. So when he stop, he come one inch, then you go one inch, then he come one inch, then you go one inch, the how you can carry on. So this situation can be dealt with this strategy. I hope you understand how to deal this situation. Most of the drivers, they can do this because you understand, but most of the drivers, they can't anticipate in this situation. This situation can be really tricky sometimes because you are on the move and oncoming traffic is on the move. So when he is on the move and you are on the move, so you need to have a better anticipation how fast he is coming. 
If he's coming quite fast, obviously he can meet you here if you try to overtake this car because you need a meter away from these parked cars. So obviously you need a meter away so you're gonna have had to head this car. So better to stop about one car before near this white line again. See how important it is to stop near this white line. When you stop near this white line, you can see this car very clearly and then you can anticipate a meter as well very easily because of this white line is telling you how close you are because inside is your side. This side is not your side. So you need to stop for him here and he go, then you go. Sometimes what happens when you're coming here, you stop. As soon as you stop, you realize this road is quite wide and I can go and he can go as well. Then you stop here. As soon as you realize there's enough room, then you're alright to carry on. There's no objection in that. But better to stop here. When you stop, stop again near the white line. And don't try to make him slow. While overtaking this car, if you make him even slow, even if, if he ease off the gas, even then you can be marked. So that can be a serious fault and you can fail your test. I hope you understand one, two situations. Now the third situation is this. You're coming here, park cars are on coming side, so other side of the road, and your side is clear. Obviously, morally, you think this is your right of the way and you keep going. When you're coming here, one car already committed. If he already committed and tried to overtake these cars, obviously he has no room. So you need to be a defensive driver. Better to stop here. This is really need to understand where to stop. For example, if you stop a little bit here, obviously there's no room behind you, so he will stuck. Better to come, stop on a reasonable space where you can, where this car can emerge and go behind you. So what will happen then when you stop here, there's a room behind you, this car will emerge in this gap. As soon as you come here, don't keep waiting here then, then go. When you go, there's going to be more room for him, then he can go easily, then you can go easily. I hope you understand this meeting situation. If you don't understand anything, you can leave me a feedback. I will definitely come back to you and explain you again. If you don't understand anything, you can rewind the video and watch again. I hope you fully understand. Thank you very much for watching this video and good luck for your test.